Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Now we are still in chapter 2, Thermal Chemistry, but we are on the last subtopic of chapter 2, which is 2.4 Bond Harbor Cycle. So in this video, we're going to look into the definition of electron affinity and lattice energy, where lattice energy can be divided into two, as in the previous video, which is lattice energy of formation and lattice energy of dissociation. Okay? Lattice energy of formation is negative, meanwhile lattice energy of dissociation is positive. Alright, and then we're going to explain the effect of ionic charges and ionic radii on the magnitude of the lattice energy. On part C and D respectively, we're going to construct a bond harbor cycle and to calculate enthalpy changes using the bond harbor cycle, especially for the simple ionic solid. Without any further ado, let us start. So for electron affinity, it basically uh, means that it's a heat change when one mole of gaseous atom, so it needs to be gaseous atom, gain one mole of electron in order to form one mole of gaseous ion. Example, oxygen gas receive one electron in, in order to form gaseous ion. And the electron affinity for the first receival of electron is negative 1 for 2 kJ per mole because it's one mole of electron. Now, uh, we risk from O minus gas, which is ion, plus another mole of electron, it's going to be O2 minus. And now, the uh, electron affinity has a value of positive 844 kJ per mole. So, negative here and positive here. So, we can say that delta H for Ea2 is always positive. This is because energy is the absorbed by the electron to overcome the repulsion between the approaching electron and the negatively charged ion. So, at first, um, the, uh, the receival of electron into the neutral uh, atom is favorable. However, when the negative charge uh, meet another negatively charged, it is not really favorable. So, extra energy is needed in order to attract electron to come to the um, oxygen negative ions and this requires energy because it's negative against negative there is a repulsion okay so energy is needed to overcome the repulsion okay so for electron affinity got positive and negative got negative and positive here that is energy so that is energy is the energy release when one mole of solid ionic compound is formed from its gaseous ion Example, this is the lattice energy of formation where gaseous ion can form ionic solid, which gives a negative value of negative 771 kJ per mole. Okay, lattice, disso lattice dissociation energy, on the other hand, is denoted as delta H0 dissociate lattice. So it is energy required, which is there is a difference here. Required, here is release. So required in order to separate one mole of solid ionic compound into gaseous ion. So energy required means it comes from a solid. Okay. And now energy is required or energy is being absorbed in order to break the bond in between the solids and to separate them apart as gaseous ions. Alright. And as what you can see here, it is also one mole of the compound or the ion compound and the delta H here is positive. So take note of these differences. And lattice energy uh, can also be represented quite easily here. So from gaseous to form solid means energy is being released in order to form lattice formation which is negative 771 kJ per mole. And for a solid going into a gas, we need to have a lattice dissociation energy where energy is being absorbed in order to break down the solid into gaseous ion. Alright? So, what you can say is that the magnitude of lattice energy remains but just the sign is being changed from negative into positive. Okay? Lattice of formation, lattice of dissociation. So lattice energy 
indicates the stability of the ionic compound. The higher the strength of ionic bond means the higher the stability because it does not easily to break apart. So lattice energy basically depends on two things. First is the ionic radii, second is the charge of the ion. So the magnitude of lattice energy increases when the ionic radii decreases. It is an inversely proportional relationship. This is because when the ionic distance are smaller, means that the ions are very close together. So more energy is needed in order to break them. Or we can say that the, when the ionic charges increases. So when the ionic charges increases, the lattice energy will also increase. For example, we have plus 2 with negative 2 with plus 1 and negative 1. So here we'll have a higher lattice energy because it has a stronger electrostatic forces between them and more energy is needed to uh, break the bond in between the lattices in order to form gaseous ion. Alright? So let's look at one of the examples here. So we have NaCl and NaBr. So the radius for the Na plus ion is 0 0.09. For the Cl minus is 0 0.181. Meanwhile, Br minus, which is a larger ions, have a 0 0.195 radius. So the combination of 0 0.181 with 0 0.095 will give a total radius of 0 0.276. In well, combination of 0 0.195 plus 0 0.095 will give 0 0.290. So NaCl has a smaller radius. And take note that the charges of the both of the ions are basically the same. But the ionic radius for Cl minus is lesser than Br. So we can say that the ionic radius of NaCl is smaller. And we can say that the lattice energy of NaCl is larger than NaBr, where it is 776. Meanwhile, NaBr is negative 746. Okay, so we are only looking at the magnitude. 776 is larger than 742. The negative here means the energy is being released. Alright. Now we look into bond Haber cycle. So von Haber cycle is basically a cycle that is used to calculate the lattice energy of ionic crystalline solid, where some of the crystalline ionic solid cannot be determined through the experiment. So von Haber cycle will be a better way in order to calculate the lattice energy. So um, it summarizes the enthalpy changes for the ionic crystal that usually happen between metal and non-metal. So the von Haber cycle can be constructed using the energy cycle method. So we're going to look into that. And from the idea of energy cycle method, we can use it to construct a bond Haber cycle that connects enthalpy of formation with the lattice energy. Okay, and these are the two scientists that propose the bond Haber cycle, which is Max Born and Fritz Haber. Now we're going to look into the example using the energy cycle method. So from the data given here, we have to find the lattice energy. So, um, the best way to start is we can take uh, the one that produces solid first. Okay, make this one as your starting equation because our target is we need to find the lattice energy that changes from gas to gas produces a ionic solid. Okay, so it must be a positively charged metal and non metal in order to form ionic solid. So this is our target enthalpy. Okay, and the best way to do that is we can select, uh, we can start with the one with have uh, ionic solid here first. Okay, so I will write it here where potassium reacting with half Cl gas, chlorine gas, in order to form KCl, which is in form of solid. So here is uh, the enthalpy is negative 436. Now, I look into the potassium first. From solid, it goes into gas. From solid, it goes into gas where it will have enthalpy of plus 90. Now, uh, from gas, it goes into K plus. Okay, it goes into K plus, which is plus 418 kilojoule. 
here. Now, once we settle with this thing and that thing, we now focus on this part. Half Cl gas going to 1 mole of Cl plus 1 to 1. So this one becomes H3, which is equal to 1 to 1 kilojoule. And from Cl, gas becomes Cl minus ion, which is H5, which is negative 364 kilojoule. Okay. Uh, and here is the electron affinity where chlorine receives another electron to form Cl-. All right. And here is enthalpy of atomization. So, but now because it doesn't specify, you can use H2, H1, H2, H3, H4, and H5. If they, are, if they simplify it as HA, you need to use it as HA. If they use it HF, you need to use HF. But if they didn't specify, then you are okay to write the number here. Okay, now um, we are we already done with all these things. But as I mentioned, we need to find the lattice energy. So it need to be from K plus gas and X minus gas in order to form ionic solid. So we need to make another arrow from that side to here. Okay, and according to Hess law, a going to F, for example, it can go from A, B, C, D, E, F. So it's the same thing, whether you from initial point E to the final point, or you can take a series of steps in order to get to the final point, as long as your initial is still the same. So according to Hess law, delta H1 is the same as the addition of delta H2 plus delta H3 plus delta H4, plus delta H5, plus delta H6. Okay, and we, we need to find delta H6. So here, so delta H1, we plug in the value, delta H2, we plug in the value, delta H3, we plug in the value. Uh, sorry, delta H3 gonna be one to one, delta H4 gonna be 418. Okay, it just um, changes in position. Delta H5 negative 364. And then we can find delta H6, which is delta H6 refer to the uh, lattice enthalpy, which is negative 701 kilojoule per mole. Alright, so that's uh, based on the energy cycle method. Now we're gonna look into how to draw the bond harbor cycle. Okay, using the similar concept, but now in order to draw the bond harbor cycle we need to follow the direction. So if positive, we have to uh, make sure the direction goes upwards. If it is a negative value, the direction will go downward. The values depends on here. Okay, this one is I taken from the equation. Now let's do it again using the von Haber cycle method. Okay, as I mentioned, start up with the KCL solid first because our idea is we need to find K plus gas plus Cl minus gas in order to form KCl solid. So we need to find the lattice enthalpy of this um, reaction. Okay, lattice. So we start with this one first. We need to draw um, the energy or the enthalpy. So we start up with this reaction. K solid plus 1 over half Cl2 gas produces KCl solid. So make another line here and another, li another line here. So the value is negative 436 because negative we have to go downwards. Okay. Okay. Settle with that. Now we can proceed with the K first. So we started from K solid become K gas. K solid become K gas. The, the value is positive. So you know that it's going to go upward. How much? Plus 90 degree. Okay, plus 90 kilojoule per mole. Okay, become K plus, and this one will remain the same as before. Okay, so settle with this one. From K gas become K plus, increase by 418. So you know that it will increase again. But this what? But this time it will be increased much higher because it has a positive of 418 kilojoule per mole, almost four times larger than the previous line. Okay. 
So from K become K plus, this one still maintain, and then the energy is be, uh, the electron are being plugged out here from the uh, from a pole, from a neutral. When we took out the electron, it become K plus. Okay, level four one eight. So settle with that one. And then from half Cl gas become one mole of chlorine gas atomization. Okay, so it become K plus plus Cl gas plus electron. So it will increase by plus one to one. Okay, settled. And now from Cl gas, it need to become Cl minus. So you need to drop to negative three six four. Cl gas to Cl minus. So from here. You draw a line downwards. Okay. K plus plus Cl minus. And it will drop by negative 364 kilojoule. And from K plus plus Cl minus is the lattice enthalpy of formation. So you need to find out the delta H of this reaction. Okay. And in order to do that, uh, you can see that it is according the same way, which is according to Hess law. From A, B, C, D, E, F. So you can see that point A, uh, from initial point A to final point F, is the same as A going to B, going to C, going to D, going to E, going to F. So H1 is equal to H2 plus H3 plus H4 plus H5 plus H6 where it is applied to the same concept A to F or A, B, C, D, E, F alright as long as it is starting from the same initial point to the final point initial to the final point okay and we need to find the delta H6 so we substitute that, that in negative 436, H290, H3418, H4121, delta H5, negative 364, and delta H6 is something we need to find out. So delta H6 that we got, which refers to the delta uh, lattice enthalpy, which is equal to negative 701 kilojoule per mole. Alright, that is how you construct a bone harbor cycle and calculate the uh, lattice enthalpy. Okay, but another thing that you need to be aware of is we need to draw uh, them according to this value, which I already mentioned here. So positive go upwards, negative go downwards. And then you need to draw it as if it is according to scale. Okay, so 90, a smaller gap. 400, a larger gap. Okay, 100, a smaller gap again. So it needs to be drawn according to scale. So here, according to scale. So if you're using your test pad, you can imagine it, for example, 400, you can use 400 lines in order to create a one enthalpy reaction here. All right, okay. I think that's all for today's video. Um, I, and I hope you find it um, okay to you. And after this, you can do more revision and so that you can get a little more understanding of what Bon Harbor sector really is. Okay, I think that's all for me. See you again some other time. Bye.